Evening all, and welcome to episode 28 of season 8 of Factory Town, where we have had an update. Mainly a visual update and a few tweaks and changes, um, and a, a brand new menu. Uh, the visual update is the game has been changed to look more isometric. Um, I don't know if you can really tell just by looking at it here, but previously when you come down to like a, a view like this, um, things were a bit more sort of squished together and as you come up the rather than having these at more of a straight line they would they, they wouldn't they wouldn't go off at a 45 degree angle they would go off in a slightly less and it's it's very difficult to explain but basically it's just a visual change I, I I mean I don't mind it it's not really a major game change one but it does make the game look a bit crisper so so that's good that's good. It might um it might be a bit jarring for people if you've come from one video straight to another one. There's a there's a big change. Uh, if you go back and watch a previous video uh, or part of it and then watch watch this, you'll see the change. You you can see it's change. It just isn't very visible if you just come in and haven't seen the previous stuff straight away. Um, the other changes that we've had are on trains. You can now have uh, multiple signal tags. So previously with the signal tag. Um, if you had um, uh, AAA, um, you could only have one tag. Whereas now you put a comma and have two tags. So this has AAA and BBB. So if it comes across a pusher that has the tag AAA, it will go down it. And if it comes across one with BBB, it will come down that as well. So very useful. We might even use that for some of our drop off and pickups. Uh, I'm not sure on this playthrough, but it might become useful where we could have a uh, um uh, like a, a drop off train come down and then another one come down that's a different um like all our drop off trains go one way and our pick up trains come the other might be useful i'm not too sure uh what we could also do is, is tag them to different towns so you could say hey you are a food town and a processing town so when you come out of the processing town you might hit the tag and go well i'm going to food town and it's quicker if i turn around and go that way and have a double rail so but we'll see we'll see um, there's also been a change to the way um, that conveyors work for spacing. Uh, previously, if you wanted to have a, um, well, we, we've got them here. If you wanted to have a conveyor belt, um, no, actually we haven't got them, but but if, if you wanted to have a, a conveyor belt, a road go over a conveyor belt, you needed to have an arch, like so, and it needs to be one above it and it let, let stuff go underneath. Uh, now you can actually use the scaffold block. So you can put a scaffold block here and that will still allow goods to go underneath there even though it doesn't look like there's enough space, it will let them go through. Uh, just a quality of life change because you get the scaffold block by default when dragging over things. So so if you're uh, um, you know, if you're dragging another belt over the top of one and you get the scaffold blocks, you don't have to go in and change them all. Nice, simple, I, I like that. It's a nice little change there. Uh, the biggest addition to the game by far is the build menu. The quick build menu uh, by pressing e on the keyboard you bring up the quick access menu which allows you to just use very simple key presses to build things so for instance if you want to build a barn you push e and bring up the quick menu you push r which is where barns are and then you push w and you have a barn there we go Adult. nice and simple if you want a road uh, you push e you press a for roads and you press w for pass and then you can see here i was playing with it earlier on boom there you go you have a a road nice and simple it's a very good addition to the game uh, very useful for newer players i feel uh, myself i'm gonna probably still use the build menu simply because that's what i'm used to um so rather than bring this up and try and do it you can also click these as well you can press e and then go oh right well i need a building uh, storage and stuff and then and, you know you can click them and and uh, train that's it so so you know i can push e push w and then push x and get a train Personally, I'm still going to bring the build menu up and probably type in stuff. Um, just because that's what I'm used to and old habits die hard. Uh, many of you that have watched me for a while will know that I still do weird stuff when it comes to putting mines in places. I've tried to break that here, but um, uh, yeah. So, so yeah, old habits die hard, but it's, um, it's just sort of the way of things, I suppose. But... I will try and use the quick menu if I can remember it, but probably not. Uh, other changes, obviously a couple of bug fixes, uh, making sure things work there. 
um, uh, items rolling downhill or wooden conveyor belts will speed up, uh, so that's quite useful. Um, uh, the item, the item filter and text input panels are now resizable. Ooh. Is that? Yay! Yeah, there we go. So now we have all the items. That's quite useful. So yeah, you can see everything in one go rather than have to scroll through it. That's quite nice. Um. Um, and uh, oh, it no longer uh, minimizes in background. Not that it ever did that because I always ran it with the uh, pop up window option, but but that's useful if you have two monitors and want to always have out of it. The game will now um, no longer shrink or run in the background, but yeah, so so again, again, another little update, lots of quality and life improvements. The game just gets better every single time an update comes along, so happy, happy. Okay, so what were we doing? Well, we were trying to figure out how to get to the next town centre going. Um, because we actually don't want any of this uh, forge stuff here. We want it over into the next town centre. But I want the town centre first. And then I want to grab all these and flip them over here and have metal be made. And then, and then yes. Uh, so we need nature research, which uh, if I unpause this game, actually, we have got 53 so far because you are actually dropping off your goods here. There you go. I have a little, little path there. I'm not sure why you decided to go that way. Come on, you can do better than that. That is clearly the better way because of the, the, the stone path, but no. Okay, how do we do that? Maybe, maybe you'll convince yourself that that's faster. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Or it could be they just couldn't path because of that, that cart. I don't know. But you are now selling stuff and we are getting, we've got 57. Uh, what do we need? We need, we needed something. What do we need? We needed um, the medicine hut, which is going to be behind basic medicine. We can unlock that now. Let's get basic medicine. Click, click, click. Awesome. We have unlocked the apothecary and the medicine hut. Awesome. Now the apothecary we need because that's actually what sells the blue coins. Um, and again, I go straight to here. So let's let's press E and try and use this build menu instead. Uh, so it's going to be categories is Q. Um, I'm I'm going to try and learn these all so that you can get quick refactors to doing things. But um, in honesty, I'm probably just going to go through the build menu a lot of time. Okay, so the apothecary can sell stuff for blue coins. It can sell bandages. It can sell uh, poultice, medical wraps, all this stuff. All this stuff is made in knowledge. And we're not going to have a knowledge town, so there's no point to having a knowledge. Uh, so let's put this here. You still connect to that? Yes, you do. Does that mean you can move back by one? It does. Awesome. Okay. So we have our apothecary. And uh, now we need to sell stuff to it. Now, we don't have anything to sell for blue coins. And also, we need antidote so we kind of want to start making this now we were going to make it over here because this is where we're making our herbs and we might as well just make it over here because everything from medical kind of relies on herbs or cotton it does use cloth so let's go to the medicine hut so you straight into the build menu see that's just instantly where my brain goes um and we want you to make antidotes, which we can't do because it's hidden behind intermediate medicine. That's fine. It requires remedies, fish oil, and sugar. We can make remedies, we can make fish oil, and we're making sugars. Okay. So, remedy, fish oil, sugar, make antidotes. Then we just take anti antidote when we get to the intermediate medicine which is 200 and 100 blue coins so we need to sell something for blue coins okay let's make some bandages shall we because we have oh we don't have much cloth actually we have cloth but it's not really being made that well um is it a workshop that makes bandages i'm not too sure uh, oh no. no 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 it's a medicine it's, it's, it, it, we were just there we were just there and i was looking at it 
So yeah, you make a bandage and you are purely knowledge. Um Don't we need cloth coming back here, don't we? Uh we might we, we might have this like here, if that makes sense. On on like the corner somewhere. So it's a corner town. Um I mean, it's based on knowledge. If we ever get any town centres, we might put a knowledge town in the centre. I'm not sure. That's as far as that comes. So really, I want to... The, the centre of the knowledge town would be here. Because then it's in between the four towns that are here and a little bit off there. But but we'll we'll deal with that as and when we come to it, when we actually have the money to be able to go and destroy loads of trees and not worry about it so much. So we need... Well, do you know what I'm going to do? What we're going to do, we are going to put a medicine hut down here, and you are going to make bandages. Then we're going to move the apothecary, uh, oh, um, maybe, what's, what's this? This is coming out, this is, uh, see this all needs changing from when we do the, uh, the upgrades, the, um, the packaging of goods because I will probably still have all the internal stuff be packaged it'll just be one thing so you'll get packaged here then you'll move oh we do have some level five houses ah. oh we do hand upgrade to level five okay okay I didn't think I had the stuff for level what's selling for level five then? Uh, is it oh it's reinforced is it I, I don't know I don't know um We'll put this here, um, and then we will do that. Do that, and then you will output cloth if you ever get cloth in. But you're not getting cloth in right now because we don't have any cloth coming in. So we need to import. Okay, okay, we can do that, we can do that, so I want to... Yeah, I think this is only a temporary thing, but... Remove those, so I know where the edge of it is. Okay, and we want to have a train station here. Um, dropping off goods. Right, yeah, that's right. We want the uh dupe. I don't know how far it is, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually remove that. And I'm just gonna come in here, copy that, paste it there, and then I know it's the correct size. And you go that way. There we go. Okay, okay. Right. And then you will have your package goods come in, travel along. Go up and over here to here and then input here so we need to remove all this here uh, there's also been I, th I think there's been a texture update to these shoots um, I don't know whether that was I'm, I'm sure that was that was this update I didn't see that in the notes I didn't actually see that in the notes I might have been blind for it however that's probably why uh, blah, 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 let me have a quick look see Through visual display of belts to remove gaps on ramps. Oh. I don't remember. There probably was gap. I don't remember. Don't remember. Uh, improved visual display of shoots. So yeah, so shoots, shoots have had an update. So they're a bit more rustic looking. That's cool. But we're not going to use them. We're not going to use shoots anymore. Uh, do I leave the... the uh, that one doesn't need to be there. That one doesn't need to be there. This doesn't need to be here. Okay, so let's build this the way it's supposed to be built. Um, which one, you're not going to be a shoot anymore. 
I'm going to get rid of you because we're going to have a direct over. We're going to do what we did here. Just have it go directly over the road rather than go back down again. Okay. I'm going to use metal conveyor belts because we have metal conveyor belts. That was a mistake. No. Not that. Zoom. You're going to come along here to there. Let me do this. Can we do the same here? Yes. Okay. Oh, it looks a bit weird when you're zoomed very in close and moving around. That's that's that is that's where you see the change in the buildings. Where I've done it before. That's actually a little bit. Um, I might have to refrain from doing that a lot because that's um going to make people a little bit weird. Okay, then more a packager. Which we can't do because we don't have enough reinforced planks. Really? Why don't we have enough reinforced planks? We don't have enough nails. Are we are we selling reinforced planks as well, aren't we? Yeah. Right, well we'll stop that. Where is the wagon that's doing that? That's you, isn't it? You you have some reinforced planks. You're going to drop them off in there, and then we're going to stop selling them. You've upgraded all the stuff to level 5, and I'm happy with that. Thank you very much. Uh, you are selling nails. You no longer need to sell nails. Because we're happy with that. And then that means we're going to move this over to... Uh, just over here, somewhere out of the way. So, we need more nails. We don't have any nails because we don't have any... Iron ore. We don't have any iron ore because we were going to move this all, weren't we? So we didn't have any iron ore in here. Uh, we might need to grab some more iron. We might need to re-enable the iron temporarily. Because, uh... Yeah, I feel like we're going to need, um... To get some of our stuff going again. We need... We've got iron in you... Yeah, you need iron ore. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We've got 69 metal conveyor belts. Why are we not getting any more conveyor belts? What's happened here? You're not getting enough gears. You're not getting enough gears because I stopped the gear production because I thought we had enough because I didn't want to use up the... Uh... Oh, you dropped your gears off. You have loads of them. We were getting ready to move stuff, but I need other things in place first before I can move anything. So maybe we will actually re enable. I keep trying to right click to move the camera while selecting the thing, and it's not. Maybe we'll re enable that and let that go. Do its thing. Um, okay, intermediate medicine. We're getting there. We need 100 coins, though. We still need. So this, this is what we need here. We need a packager doing this, which means we need to move some of this stuff over here as well. So let's prepare for this, shall we? This is going to be the weird one because paper. Um, producing, we are producing loads upon loads of paper. I need to turn off something somewhere to stop the paper being produced. So we need to turn off that and then we need to store loads of paper temporarily. Um, or I suppose we could just sell it for some more knowledge. Let's do that. Can't afford that because we don't have enough things. Uh, you just. Would you put, oh, uh, yeah, you, would you take paper from that barn? In fact, you know what? We're going to move this over to here. We are just literally going to grab it out of here. Uh, oh, uh. Well, uh, information overload. There it is. Paper. So just sell all the paper to all the people. I want to turn off this all here because we no longer want to bring in this like this. We want we want to package some stuff up, don't we? So 
but let's see whether we can do anything with that. Um, okay, okay, so I'm actually going to put a small cut in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this flow for a little while, and uh, um, just w wait for this to be sold out, because I need, I want to clear these lines off here. I mean, I could turn this off. I could turn this off here. In fact, you know what? I think I will. There we go. We'll turn that off, and then we'll let all the lines empty out. Um, although I do want to empty the wood as well, so maybe, maybe we'll we'll just balance it up and wait for the wood to run out. We'll wait for the paper to run out. We'll set it all off, and then we will come back when it's done. Okay, so we're getting close. We're just about to run out of wood on the supply, so uh, things good here. But I, I was looking at what our wagons were doing. Um, I took this path out here because it was blocking the wagons. They were going up, down, and I put in some one-way streets here, so. Um, it convinces the wagons to go the correct direction. Um, although you are... What are you doing? You are taking medical supplies. Oh, you're taking... Oh, oh, okay. Oops. Oops. You're, uh... Yeah. Okay, so you're, you're blocking that path. That's really weird because you should come up here. That is very clearly a quicker road going that way. That was a very strange view, but there we go. Anyway, um, but I was looking here as to how this was because I've got some uh, caravans that are going up and around. And in the patch notes, there was a screenshot which shows how you can run paths over the top of belts using only a single ramp. So, so you could build a ramp. Uh, you could put a wooden bridge um you can press page up to go up by one put it there and that is technically in the block above and then you put a ramp down here and then run a path up to it and down from it and that is a that is a valid path the drawback is that these are really slow um they actually slow caravans down more than um uh, just being on a normal a normal road so i was trying to find a stone version of it and i was going through all the the uh, the blocks and trying to figure it out and th there isn't one there isn't a stone version of that. I mean, the stone platform actually blocks stuff because it's in the same, um, it would be in the same tile, it would go there, it would be in the same tile as the one below. So the, the stone platform would go there. If you put it on top, it won't work because it's not, it, they can't get up to it, they need to go up by two to do it. So yeah, there's no, there's no way to do that with a stone version which uh is a shame because i'd really like a stone version of that. You know, all, all of these all these platforms are exactly the same they, they all they all share that block and although you can run a conveyor belt underneath them uh, uh, actually the conveyor belt wants to run over the top that's interesting um, but yeah you can you can run a conveyor belt underneath them and then put them in uh, over the stone platform do that and that blocks the conveyor belt because it's in the same tile. So, so there's no way to do it with that. You've only you've only got the option of doing it with faster, uh, with uh, with the slow the bridges. So, I won't be doing it. It's uh, it would be useful. I could run some stuff along the ground, but I mean, it would just it would. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It makes stuff too slow. We'd have to go up by two to get up and over, um, which we could do. We could go up by two and go up and over and just get rid of the storage crates. That would be fine. I mean, here we're, we're going up with a silo, but this, this will end up in the air anyway because of um, the packages and stuff. But if anything on the ground, we could run up by two and it wouldn't affect this because if we go, um, uh, if, we, if we go up by, well, we go, we go up by one, so it goes there. Um, and then it wouldn't affect the stuff above because I believe the stuff in the packages is way above that anyway. The stuff from the packages comes out above that anyway, doesn't it? It comes out. Yeah, we have to go one further up from where the packager actually is packaging stuff. So we don't bring it out on this level because then it can't clear buildings. We have to bring it out one level above. So we bring it out on that level. And that wouldn't affect the stuff underneath it. So yeah, at least I think that's right. Is that is that correct? Or can we actually go down one further level and go through the base? I'm not sure. I think we're already in the base as it is. 
What if we went one level further down? Could we do that? No, that is that is the lowest we're allowed to go over the base. So that's the height dictated by the game. So yes, yeah, so that's one above packager level, which is fine because that that means we can come out the bases, the the uh, barns, and go up, and that's fine. Uh, we could come out the the packages and, and go up as well. That's that's an option. But yeah, so there isn't any way to actually have the roads do what we want them to do there. So yeah, there's a shame. Over our wood is all done. Um, it's all it's all filtered out and done. The paper is uh, going. I can actually turn this off now and just let the paper flow through. I just wanted to make sure we used up all our wood. Uh, now the paper can flow through. I did replace this all with metal conveyor belts just to speed the process up. And you are selling everything there. That is fine. So, so yeah, yeah. But we can't pull out of the uh, the crates if we do it this way. We, I mean, you could move the crates back by one, then do do that and go up. That, or we could, as I said, just get rid of the crates. Completely, and just uh, do that. I'm not sure. I mean, that still looks weird, but that, at least it works. Um, I mean, I don't. I didn't do that originally, and I don't quite know why. Oh, because we were using shoots and things for stuff, so we couldn't go up here with shoots. You need to use silos and stuff for shoots. So, um, but I, I don't know. I can't. I, I, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Should we should we just stick with putting silos in and going up by two and across so that we have space if we ever need to use wagon things for that? I don't know if we will use wagons for much longer, especially when we unlock airships. They will be used for everything. So. Um, so should we go should we go with the the ramp up i'm actually kind of liking the ramp up or should we stick with silos and go with that um and now we could we won't be using shoots for stuff because we're packaging everything anyway so everything's going to be built so so yeah um and then when it comes to here and we have crossroads um we'll use a crate probably because that just makes sense um, but it'd be on the floor anyway um if we have if we have a splitter we could use a crate as a as a splitter or we could just put in literally a splitter and uh, and do it that way split it left and right and uh, have everything slightly above board i don't know i don't know we are going up and over here anyway um, but that's actually up way higher than it actually technically needs to be yep that is up higher than it needs to be it only needs to be up by one it's technically up by two, I think. Get up by one. Nope. No, that is correct. That is correct. It just looks weird because it's using um, stilts and not a non-natural scaffold block. But yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, if we do go by silos, we can go up one further and then it doesn't look weird when stuff comes underneath it. But I don't know. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, but we're going to have to leave this one here and then now all our paper and everything's filtered out, we'll put in all our packages and stuff here tear this all out and build all the package things and we'll do that in the next episode so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed this one and i hope to see you again in the next one and until then as always have fun <laughs>